the development of Northeast Recovery and Development Regional Master Plan is perhaps the greatest achievement of Northeast Development Commission to date. This is because if properly and strategically implemented, it will not only complement what the governors are doing in the states by investing in transformational projects, but also serve as tipping point for the transformation of the region. The 11 pillars of the Northeast Development Master Plan encompasses all the sectors that need attention and investment to make the region catch up with the rest of the country and unleash its potential. It truly represents our aspirations that come from the consultations with people and the governments of our six states. In summary, it is what the federal and states governments, as well as private and individual efforts, need to pay attention to. Too. It is our collective aspirations. In order for the Northeast Development Commission to deliver on its mandate of supporting the recovery and development of the Northeast region of Nigeria that has been devastated of Boko Haram insurgency, which is further compounded by severe climate change, it, starts to, it has to be strategic and realistic in realizing that. The resources it has is limited, and a significant percentage is time-bound and has only seven years to go. The investments and projects Northeast Development Commission supports have to complement what the state governments are doing and avoid repetition so that we can achieve the complementarity effect. This investment is meant to serve in the region. In this vein, you need to constantly engage with the state governments not to report on what you are doing but importantly at the strategic level for advice and cross fertilization of ideas and plans. Despite all political pressures, you must invest in areas that are very strategic, transformational, and have long-term impacts in transforming the portion of the region, such as major highways, linking state capitals and with other national and international rail networks linking state capitals and with other others, national and international, industrial gas pipeline, regional agricultural research and extension training centers institute, strategic human capital development, which is now the main currency of wealth globally. This includes scholarships for students of cutting edge sciences like mechatronics and robotics, artificial intelligence, computer software and hardware development, nurses, nurse tutors, vocational and technical education tutors, training and such others that support long-term long impact. Clearing and re-establishment of the tributaries of the lake chart. The enormity of the tax of rebuilding the Northeast region cannot be overemphasized. It is therefore imperative that your plan has budgets and strict timelines for implementation and delivery of impacts and not outputs. For the Commission to deliver on these important goals you have set for yourselves, it is important that you bring things, at least 70% of your budget strictly for these high impact strategic and transformational investments that in many cases require multi-year funding to achieve. You need to resist working outside the plan to achieve impact. While the Northeast Development Commission is working to implement the master plan, I will urge you to engage other federal MDS and ensure federal investments in the region align with our goals and aspirations in the region. We expect you, being part of the federal MDS, to be our advocates and actively seek inclusion and equity for our people. Over the last few years, we have seen budgetary allocation to the Northeast in terms of infrastructural development, road networks, and human capital development. You are our representatives, and we expect you to be vigilant in this respect. 
I will also urge our members of the National Assembly to be vigilant and ensure equity and the distribution of national projects and investments. As all stakeholders review the proposed Northeast Recovery and Development Master Plan, I will urge you to be strategic in highlighting and prioritizing high impact investments. You will all need to be helped to help the Northeast Development Commission to categorize the activities into very high, medium, and low priority because the resources are limited. The state focal persons who have been who are very deep understanding of what is going on in our six states should ensure complementarity and avoid duplications. You should also keep an eye on opportunities for partnerships with the private sector to invest in manufacturing and industries that will create jobs and support growth.